Welcome back everyone. If you have a Nintendo Switch, you may not actually know this, but it could totally change the way you play your Switch or even how you use your Nintendo Switch. Now, as some of you or most of you may know, the Nintendo Switch specifically with the Switch, not with the Switch Lite, but they both suffer from the same problem, which is joystick drift. So over time, these joysticks and our Joy-Cons can actually end up having a drifting sensation, meaning that when you are just like letting your Joy-Cons sit there by themselves, you're not touching them, they may actually end up interfering with your console. So if you're playing a game, maybe your specific character will move one side to the, you know, for, or just keeps moving to one side over and over again, and you're not even touching the controller. And the reason this may be happening is because your Joy-Con, specifically with your joystick, it has something wrong with it. So really your main choice is either to put some isopropyl alcohol on it, but that's a temporary fix, you can take apart your Joy-Con and fix it yourself, but some people don't want to do that. I personally don't want to take apart my Joy-Con because I don't know what I'm doing with it, but Nintendo actually has a repair program that they pushed out for free, and I don't really hear too many people talking about it, which is very interesting. I was also not made super aware of it, even though I made several tutorials on how to fix these type of things. So what I would recommend you to do is if you have a Nintendo Switch with your Joy-Cons, unfortunately Nintendo has only opened this up for those Joy-Cons, not for the Nintendo Switch Lite, which is annoying, but if you have those Joy-Cons, and if you live in the United States of America or Canada, you can actually send your Joy-Cons and Nintendo for free. They'll send you a shipping label and everything. They'll fix your Joy-Cons. They'll send them back to you or they'll replace them and give you new ones for free. And then you won't have this issue anymore. The Basically the process that I did, I went to google.com. I typed in Nintendo Switch Joy-Con repair and you want to find the first link that typically says Nintendo Switch repair program for Joy-Cons or whatever. And it's the Nintendo website. And you want to go there and you want to go ahead and input all the information that you normally would. So it's going to ask you which Joy-Cons you have, whether how many the quantity you have, what colors they are, whether they're left or right or both left left or whatever and you're going to just put in your information your address your name and a little bit of a description of what the specific issue is with your joy cons and what's going to happen is nintendo's going to send you out an email just a confirmation email and then they're going to send you a shipping label and all you have to do is put those joy cons in a box maybe put some you know packaging in them but you really don't even need to do that to be honest because they're already broken and you can just put that shipping label on top of the specific box and send it in like any other package for me, it came through UPS, but yours may go through USPS or something like that. And that's really all you have to do. Once you send them in and you get them back, it typically takes a couple weeks. That's what Nintendo said. I just shipped mine out. And like I mentioned, this is completely free. And I had these extra pair of Joy-Cons laying around that were broken, I thought. So now you can actually go ahead and get some more use out of them by sending them into Nintendo, having them fix it, and sending them back to you. So that's pretty much it. That's honestly what I would recommend doing. If you have a Nintendo Switch and you have those Joy-Cons, I would highly recommend you to go ahead and do that. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.